Next, we are going to discuss about very important points that we are going to frequently use in module 3 and module 4. Okay. You know that any complex number is represented by the letter Z. Z is always is equal to X plus IY. You know that X is known as the real part of Z and Y is known as imaginary part of Z. Okay. Then if you consider the conjugate of a complex number, you know that the conjugate of a complex number is denoted by Z bar and it will be equal to X minus IY. Okay. All this result we already discussed in module 1. Okay. Next. If Z is equal to X plus I Y, then D Z will be also, uh, D Z will be always is equal to D X plus I D Y. You should remember this result. You know that Z is equal to X plus I Y. How will you get D Z? If you add a D in the left side of Z, then you just substitute D for here and here. Then you will get D X plus I D Y. So you should remember D Z will be equal to D X plus I D Y. Very important result. Okay. Next result is equation of a line joining two point x1 y1 and x2 y2 suppose we have uh, we have two points suppose first point is x1 or y1 and second point is x2 y2 we need to find an equation connecting these two point x1 y1 and x2 y2 okay so equation of a line joining two point x1 y1 and x2 y2 is given by the equation y minus y1 divided by y2 minus y1 is equal to x minus x1 divided by x2 minus x1 okay so you should remember this result whenever you want to find an equation connecting any two point then you can easily use this equation to get the equation of a corresponding line okay x equal to 0 means it is an equation of y axis similarly y is equal to 0 means it is an equation of x axis we already discussed about this the same result in module 2 similarly x equal to a x equal to a is an equation of a line but that line has some speciality x equal to a is an equation of a line parallel to y axis at x is equal to a you should remember similarly y is equal to b y is equal to b is an equation of a line parallel to x axis at y is equal to b okay you should remember these four equation of lines then next modulus of z is equal to r Modulus of Z is equal to R is an equation of a circle with the center, origin and the radius R. Okay. For example, if you consider modulus of Z is equal to 1, whenever you will find an equation like this, modulus of Z is equal to 1 or standard form is modulus of Z is equal to R. If you compare this, uh, this equation with the standard, uh, standard equation, so you will get modulus of Z is equal to 1 is an equation of a circle with the center, origin and radius 1. Okay. Similarly, another form of equation of a circle is modulus of z minus a is equal to r. Modulus of z minus a is equal to r is an equation of a circle with the center a and radius r. For example, if we consider an equation like this modulus of z minus 1 is equal to 2, this is nothing but an equation of a, line, a circle. Then what is the, um, the center of the circle? You know that a, any circle have both the center and radius. This equation will corresponding to an equation of a circle with a center. Center will be always is given by, center is given by in standard form, here center is A. That means what value will come after negative, that will represent the center. Here after negative 1 will come, therefore the center will be 1. You know that the center is always a point, right? So we always representing a center by a x coordinate and y coordinate. Here is a minus 1. That means the, the, after negative sign you will find only 1. That means only a real part. That means the, uh, the imaginary part of this number is 0. So the center is given by 1, 0. Right? So center is given by 1, 0 and the radius. Radius is 2. Okay. So similarly if you consider another equation, uh, equation consider an equation like this z plus 2 will be equal to 3. This equation, this equation also representing a circle. So you need to find out the center and radius. So to find the center of this equation, first of all you, to, you need to convert this equation into standard form. So look at the standard form, here the standard form is always z minus a. That means you need to uh, convert uh, negative symbol here. But here in this equation we have uh, positive so you need to in order to find the center we need to convert you need to convert into standard form so we can write this equation in form z minus of minus 2 is equal to 3 now it is in standard form right 
so in place of a you will get minus 2 therefore, therefore this is an equation of a circle with a center center will be for the, this is an equation of a circle with a center will be is equal to minus 2 0 that means after negative symbol you will only have real real value no imaginary part therefore you should convert uh, the imaginary part into 0 so the center will become minus 2 0 and radius will become 3 okay so if you consider another example modulus of z minus 3i is equal to 5 so whenever you will find an equation like this you, you should uh, remember that this is a nothing but an equation of a circle right this is an equation of a circle with uh, what uh, center center will become center will be is equal to here we have after negative sign you have only imaginary part no uh, uh, real part is involved here so the real part you should consider as zero therefore the x coordinate of the center will become zero and y coordinate will become three so center will become zero three and radius will become five okay we have to convert the standard form 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 to convert this is an equation of a circle with a center. What will be the center? Center will be after the negative sign. You will find a number like this 1 plus 2y, right? So uh, the x coordinate of the center will become the real part and y coordinate of the center will become imaginary part. So this is an equation of a circle with a center. Center will become 1, 2 and radius is also become 2. Okay. So if you consider another example, modulus of z plus 3 minus 5i is equal to 1. So, this is also an equation of a circle with the center. What will be the center of this uh, circle? So, to find the center, you have to convert this into standard form. Standard form will always be need in convert into a minus form, right? So, if you, uh, if in order to convert this in the positive symbol into negative symbol, you need to take negative symbol outside, right? So, if you, if you convert this into standard form, we can write this equation into is it minus 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 3 plus 5 i okay equal to 1 now this is in standard form is it minus a is equal to r this is in uh, this standard form so uh, compare this with in, in place of a we have minus 3 plus 5 i okay so the uh, center center of this circle will become center will become the x coordinate will become the real part and y coordinate will become the imaginary part that means the center will become minus 3 5 and radius will become 1 okay radius will be equal to 1 so this way you need to find out uh, the center and radius of a circle in the form is minus a is equal to r we already discussed this in module 2 also okay if you have any doubt you can refer module 2 also